Okay, if you're used to Windows Phone 8.0, you're used to receiving notifications from up here. You see you have a status bar that shows a little bit of the status, showing uh, Wi-Fi status, things like that. Or you'll see a, a phone call come in up here with a little status bar come in, or a banner. You'll see a text thing. You'll see notifications coming that way. And that's uh, pretty much it for the notifications. Otherwise, you have to rely upon your tiles. You see phone calls come in over here, and you'll see email messages come in over there. Uh, appointments show up in your calendar. Well, we're going to go into take a look at the Action and Notification Center in the new Windows Phone 8.1. So now we're looking at a phone with Windows 8.1 installed. And at first blush, it looks like it's the same. It's got the same notifications up top. But if, as you swipe down from the top, you'll see that it's much more robust. First of all, from the top down, you'll see that we, now we have the uh, date and time there, and we have your battery power with a percentage left. And of course, your, whether or not you're on Wi-Fi and that. There's other notifications that can come up there. The next section down between here and here is the Action Center, which is you can check your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, things like that. Uh, I have it set up for brightness. And those can be configured. We'll talk about that in the configuration area here in a moment. Uh, for one thing we're going to do is if we click on airplane mode, let's say you're on an airplane, you want to turn on airplane mode, you just tap this here, and you notice it turns off your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi immediately. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, turn it back on, you, you just simply tap it and those functions come back on, available. Uh, brightness, I just click over here, it switches between low, medium, high, or automatic, okay? Uh, so you can do that, and we'll talk again about how you can uh, change those later on. Uh, down here in this section here, we're talking about this is the uh, notification center. This is where functions come in, email uh, announcements come in. But not just that there's one or two like there's on the live tile, but you see the entire, I see each and every email I want to see here. So I want to say, okay, look, I've got these email notifications. I can get calendar appointments will show up here, all sorts of stuff. But let's talk about managing these emails for a second. Right now there's three showing. Let me go back to the live tiles for a second. And you notice it matches the three that are there. So if I go down here again, and let's say I only want to read one of these. I, I want to keep those on my notification center. I simply tap on that one. I go read the email. I come back. And now there's two showing here. And of course, there's only two left in the notification center. If I say, okay, I want to review all my emails, I simply tap on the title, and it goes to my email list where I can read all my uh, emails that are there. And now, there's no emails left here for that account, and there's no emails there for that account. So it allows you to uh, manage your email responses for that. You can say clear all, and it'll clear everything, all accounts, all notifications, all functions, whatever, it'll clear those. So now let's go over here to all settings. This is how you configure it. So if we go over here to notifications and actions, first of all, that top area we talked about, there's the wireless, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and brightness. All you do is you tap on that, and you choose the functions that they have available. Some are, some are available. Your favorite may or may not be. depends upon what's been written to access that. And we'll come over here, and I'll go back and leave it on brightness. And, then do that. and you can do that for all the ones. Now, some people have rotation lock, which a lot of people like. So uh, that's pretty nice. Now, the next thing that we're down here is the show notification and action center when my phone is locked. That simply says, even when it's locked, that action center will uh, show up. The next section says, turn notifications on or off for apps and settings and choose whether or not the banners at the top or the bottom of the screen. Now, the banners are those little banners you used to get with little red banners up top when something comes in to flash for a few seconds and then go away, just like notifications you get there. So let's take a look at this email account here. Right now, I, I want to see those when they come in, so I have it turned on. Uh, of course, if I turn it off, it won't show up. That's very easily. And then notification sound, okay, well, if I go over here, I can have a default sound. I can have uh, all the different kind of messages and all that, or custom ringtones, whatever you want to set up for that. And then you can just turn on vibrate. So I have it on and on and vibrate right now. And you can tell when you go back, it tells you exactly what you have set up so you know you've got it set up correctly. I have Google Mail set up that way. Now Hotmail just is on, it just displays, it doesn't actually notify me. So there's different things here that you can do for each and every one of your, uh, your settings for that. Uh, so it's a very easy way to customize how this, uh, this whole notification. Oh, let me get out of the configuration here. 
it's a very easy way to customize how this works for you and how easy it is to do all that. So not only you can configure this, these quick action items, but you can also configure how you respond to message and alerts uh, from your system. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm guessing that I'm going to be deleting most of these emails and only leave maybe my main Outlook emails because I can go in and check incoming messages any way I want. I only really reply for the most part from this one. So that's a quick look at the new 8.1 uh, Action Notification Center. Uh, so far we've done Cortana in this and uh, we'll have more videos yet to come. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.